inspired makeup look today um based on my new unicorn onesie that I got and if you can see all the unicorns on there um I got matching onesies with my sister um who got um a donut onesie um and I got unicorns and my brother just got like a black one um so all of us siblings even though we're all separated um we are wearing our onesies to match and feel like we're closer to each other even though we're far apart um and today i thought i'd play around with like silvers and iridescents kind of like holographic colors which i have um but also the reason i'm chatting is because i wanted to show you the um the way i do my foundation today um i'm gonna try the new um kind of i'm gonna try the new tiktok um, foundation look where you put powder and then foundation. I've watched a couple of videos on it. Basically, it's moisturizer, then powder, then you spray, then you put primer. It's a whole thing. Um, I won't rattle on through it, I'll just do it. I'll put the steps below so you can see what I'm doing um, without me rambling on. Um, but yeah, those are the steps. That's the order I'm going to do it. I know it seems weird, but I'm just going to try it. I'm not going anywhere. Obviously, we're, no one's going anywhere. Um, but I thought I'd just try it and see if it works. It's meant to um, make your makeup uh, last all day and like super locked in. But I thought I'd just play and at least try it so then when I am back in civilization, um, I'll know if it works or not. Okay, so I've done all the steps um, that the makeup artists have shown in their videos in the right order. Um, I thought I'd chat to you if you are interested um, in why I used each product based on kind of what they've been saying. Um, you know, each product, you know, has a purpose. Um, I use the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer because I get really dry. When I did my makeup on Sunday for Easter, I noticed that um, I was really cracking up here. Um, I couldn't really see it in the camera, luckily. So you couldn't really see it, but I could see it in the ring light in my regular mirror down here that I have below the camera. Um, then I used um, Laura Mercier um, powder, translucent powder. Again, translucent because you shouldn't see any color or anything like that based on what these guys are saying. Um, the way to do this, this uh, tip or technique or whatever. The only setting spray that I do have, but I have it for a reason, it's the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid setting spray um, because hyaluronic acid is supposed to moisturize the skin and I'm, I need all the moisture that I can get um, for all the dry places that I've mentioned. Um, and then lastly, um, again because the makeup artists um, have recommended it in a couple of videos, um, any kind of primer with a gripping ability. So one guy said to use Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, but Tatcha is really expensive. I don't have that. The only one that I do have is the dupe for that that I've seen, which is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. But another makeup artist said to use something with, that's really sticky and gripping. So instead of using my Poreless Putty Primer, I thought I'd try gripping because this is kind of what I use on an everyday basis. I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup like I always do, um, probably not on camera to save um, you guys just, it's the same, you've seen it before, um, but I will come back with my face done with this, um, the Fenty Beauty Concealer, um, 
and I don't think I need to powder a lot because all of the steps that I've done beforehand mean that you don't have to bake. One guy, one makeup artist said that if you do bake, then you don't have to bake for that long. Baking just means, again, adding the powder to, to lock in your foundation, but I think because we've done everything, it should still last. Anyway, um, I will come back with my face all done, um, and then I will show you what I do with my eyes. Probably something very unicorn inspired. finished with this kind of unicorn rainbow inspired look um, I went with like the holographic blue purpley turquoise tint in the inner corners from Colourpop and up here it's a little crazy but I don't know I think it goes um I should ton of sparkles on my cheekbones up here again um, that's fancy like I always use but you know a lot of sparkles um, in the Cupid's bow too to accentuate that. Um, a lot of sparkles from the Tati Beauty um, palette in the middle there. Um, the purple um, kind of shade is the sequin shade um, in Poet from the Tati Beauty palette. Um, that is in the corners. Um, I chose that because if you look at it, there's a bit of blue in there, so I got purple, blue, red, pink, like all that kind of colors, which coincides with like the magical like stars and shiny bits on my onesie. And I put this Stila um, color um, over top of it. There are a lot of sparkles and colors and just magicalness going on, kind of like a unicorn. There you have it. I'm finished. All complete. There you go. Hopefully you can see all the colors that I used. It 
how super sparkly it is. 